The, the thing about, when you think about Google or the, the original search engines, what they were is it's a pseudo machine learning, but what it was mostly was having a phone book for the entire world, but at the speed of light. Yes. So that's what, and it expanded your ability to grow as a business and to learn information, especially when we had knowledge bases like Wikipedia or whatever. That, that, then what, what, what people don't understand, because a lot of people don't see the difference between AI and Google. Uh, what AI or ChatGPT is, it's actually adding 40 points of IQ to you. Basically, your ability to reason has become almost flawless and incredibly fast. And you can choose from different AI, model, AI models. Let's just say you think, you think Gemini is too woke, so you use Grok instead. You can choose from different AI models to get different answers, and you can, and it'll go back through the reasoning. DeepSeek has just kicked the shit out of everyone. DeepSeek is now, you can use perplexity.ai, and you can actually use DeepSeek as its AI model. And DeepSeek actually shows you the work it's doing in order to come to its reasoning. And the answers are really, really good. They've gotten to the point where they're incredibly accurate. I ask it for information on myself frequently to see how, like, if it gets anything wrong. And it used to get things wrong. It gets nothing wrong anymore. Um, it's really incredible what AI is doing. There's two things that aren't going away. AI is not going away. So your ability to control AI or to use it in your favor is paramount for everyone. I don't care if you're a copywriter, if you're a salesperson, whatever, anything. You're, I don't care if you work on an oil derrick. You need to learn how to use AI. And the second thing is a personal brand. Those two things are not going away. My personal brand will still exist. In fact, AI will probably just enhance my personal brand. But my personal brand is going to be the thing that works for me to endear trust. Until we get to a point, maybe 20, 30 years from now, where even the personal brand isn't even something. And AI is completely completely controls everything that we look on on social media. We could get to that point. Yeah, I was soon. kind of thinking that. That's another reason I got online because I yeah. knew the personal brand thing. You know, I've always been definitely behind the scenes, uh, not forward facing, but I knew personal brand was becoming more important, more important, more important, yeah. more important. And then also, you know, our business is commodity, right? Yeah. And so you're trading on, you know, price or service. Yeah. It's always, it's just a commodity driven business. And so the only thing that's not, is the personal brand like sure. we can lose business tomorrow um for whatever reason political this but your personal brand you know you can pretty much do anything with at yeah. some point right when you have enough credibility uh, enough trust yeah that you can do anything well you with. can get better deals than other people can like when, when a lot of better opportunities you get better opportunities same thing like and if you well, have enough influence, you can just lend your name to any company. You don't have to do any Warren work. Buffett's a great example. And you will make yeah. so much money yeah. just by lending your name to that company. Again, school with Alex Hormozzi would be a great example. Or the bailouts that happened uh, with uh, Warren Buffett when he would try to bail out a bank. Because Warren Buffett lent his seal of approval, then other lenders went in there and tried to help with the bailouts. Yep. That's the kind of thing. You get better opportunities when you have... Um, when you have a personal or brand. influence, yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what Elon did, nobody bought a Tesla because it was yeah. Tesla in the beginning. Yeah, they bought it for because it was Elon. And yeah, like I'm going to support him. I like what he's doing. I buy it because of him. Yeah, and it's also why he bought Twitter. People exactly. are like, oh, he lost all this money. I'm like, no, nah, he didn't lose any money. Yeah, he was able to actually control the narrative and then uh, be able to not get censored, not get kicked off a platform, and then build an even bigger personal brand that could sell more product. Whatever, That's true. whatever That's he's true, selling, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, and so it's been super interesting. To I mean, watch Elon's him. a great example of AI and personal brand. Crazy, right? kind of listening to exactly what we're talking about. Uh, you know, the other thing is, um, a lot of people who don't like Elon, you need to at least recognize that he is smarter than you. Like that's one of the hard things for a lot of people. Who are, I recognize when some people are smarter than me, and, that, and in order for me to, when I do that, when I come to that realization, then it's like, okay, this person is actually more intelligent than I am. Because they are, I can listen to them on certain things, even if I don't agree with them personally. I can put that to to the side. You, you understand what I'm saying? Of course. That's very difficult for people who don't like Elon to at least admit that the guy's a genius. They have a very hard time doing that because he doesn't say things they want to hear. Not only is he a genius, there has been no person in the history of time that can come up with an idea, but also execute on the sure. idea. There's no, there's nobody that's comparable that can come up with yeah. those, that big of an idea and also execute on the business and make it successful. Well, the, I think the difference is with, with like say Steve Jobs, who did some of that. The Amazing. Difference with so him, two of my, yeah. probably my two favorite people. The, the difference um, with Jobs though, is that he actually wasn't like writing the, the circuitry. No, like no, he no, wasn't no. writing the coding. Wozniak was doing a lot of that. But with, with, with the thing with uh, Elon is that he would read books and teach himself rocket telemetry. He would teach himself how to manufacture uh, uh, objects, so like material physics. He would teach himself, uh, like uh, 
he would give himself a material, I'm not talking about material, material understanding on how to fashion certain pieces that would go into his rockets so that he could build them all in house and then save on the, on the vertical integration in the supply chain, which caused him to be able to produce things that were outrageously expensive previously for much, much cheaper. And that's why he was able to do it. But he had to teach himself how to create ball bearings. Again, a guy, uh, he's a multi-billionaire and he reads books on how to create ball bearings. Things like that is some widgets, whatever, any kind of joint, any kind of like polymer that's able to to withstand extreme amounts of heat, how to build his own heat shield. He learned how to do all of that on it, on his own. Most people won't do that. Like for instance, for me, for my podcast, I know how to use all of my cameras and how to use all the audio equipment, but I learned how to do that before I started podcasting. Elon is unique in that, that he does that, whereas a lot of, like nobody else has ever done it to that extent. When you read his book about him sleeping in the pow in the plants and actually like waking up in, in the day and then having control over every single part of it and being a genius, like that, that part is incredible. It really is amazing. Yeah, it's super inspiring. And then Steve Jobs, his superpower was being able to communicate his ideas to a team yes. and could just develop anything. I yeah. mean, he was, he was really good and I've always been super jealous of just how... And it's probably just not natural ability, but some natural ability where he he could articulate the right things and build the right team yes. to basically do anything, yeah. no matter what he started. So it was really cool to see him do that. Yeah.